Okay, fam. So this year, I'm gonna be trying a sorrel rum cake. Um, the idea was that Shannon and I would be able to do it together, but I'm in the middle of moving and time is just short. And my helper, little Paige, she's not here. She's actually with Shannon. So I'm gonna take this on myself. It's the first time I'm ever doing this cake. I saw my friend do it and um, I figured it's interesting. I'd love to try it. So we're gonna take on this, um, this task this year. I got most of my stuff together already. So I'm just gonna take you along the journey and let's see how this thing turns out. Wish me luck. Last night I drew the sorrel and um, I put a little um, spirits in it and um, some red label. Yeah, and some fruits. So I had um, raisins and mixed peel, like I would normally put in the, right? So now apparently, I'm supposed to blend this. So let's go. I'm not sure how this thing is gonna work out. This is, it says 200 grams of butter. This is 450 grams of butter. So I'm gonna do half. Huh. essence in there too. You know how us Jamaican people stay? We always add a little something in there. I want the recipe in a cow feet because we think you're gonna make it taste better. The proof is gonna be in the in the tasting. It's big. I don't eat that with that. <laughs> Why are you talking on my video? Wait. Hold on. <laughs> the mommy just <laughs> in another video. I know. <laughs> well, the the sorrel cake, it is good though. Um, I have to say, the sorrel cake was a hit. 
It was. I yeah, I I loved it. It did um it did come out really well. I think mm-hmm. there's something else that I would do differently next time, but yes, be a first try. <laughs> exactly. It, it Paul said yes, he is so brave. <laughs> yes, Paul. <laughs> yes, Paul, special order, special order. Oh man, but it was oh. good though. It was good. So what was the spe- what was the, the extra ingredient that I saw you put in? When you say, you know, sometimes Jamaicans, you know, in a call for a kid, tip a little bit in it. What was that extra ingredient? Mixed essence. Okay. So it's just, it's supposed to just give it an added little flavor. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? To but boost it. To boost it. But, but, but I use that to bake generally. I put it in porridge and it's something like vanilla, but Trust yes. me, Minatu Noah in the butt. <laughs> it make the cake taste good. And the cake was it, good. Yeah, so the 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 um the recipe didn't call for that, but it's something that I always put in my mm. cake. So I'm like, let me just tip a little bit in. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was it was good. So yeah, it was it was interesting. I had never seen it before. Um, mm. this year when my girlfriend did it and yeah, uh, uh, there's one thing that I would do differently next time, but it was good. Mm-hmm. It was, a, you have to try something new every year. I know. So <laughs> what's up one, my friend? Yes. Yeah, so another COVID Christmas, man. man and it looks like we're going to go back into another lockdown. Yeah. Another COVID Christmas. It's, it's a lot, but in everything we have to give thanks, right? I know. I know. We're still alive. We're still here. Mm-hmm. I can't believe that it's actually Christmas again. Mm-hmm. Like I felt like the year just started. I know, you know? 2022 next year. Just yeah. in a few, another week or something like that. Yeah. So, you know, it's been, it's been a lot that has gone on. The one good thing about the year for me though, was that Throughout the um, year, at various points, the um, restrictions lifted a bit. Yes. So you felt almost normal again. Like we went out and did some stuff together as a family during the yes. summer. Yes, we went to the spa. Yes. Yes, we went to El. Everybody never knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. 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 <laughs> That's true, that's true. Yeah, we have we to had a little with, girls day out. Yeah, and do a little girls trip. Yes. Um pamper ourselves. And, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And hopefully in the new year we can start to do some more of those things that are continue depending mm-hmm. on the restrictions. Yeah, exactly. Even though it's it looks a little daunting right now, but we just have to keep mm-hmm. hoping and praying that, you know, things will get better. It got better last yes, year. Yes, there is and, hope. Yeah, and so we just hope that as um, as we move into the new year and beyond that, you know, it will get mm-hmm. a, a little bit better. Things will settle down and we can go about life. And do more stuff. A little normally again. But we don't want to focus on the dreary side of exactly. what's been going on. We want to move into the Christmas with a vibe. Christmas of Lava. Lava. Christmas of Lava. Lava. Yes, that's the vibe right here. <laughs> I know. So um, we just wanted to check in with our fam and to see what was going on for Christmas for everybody. Mm-hmm. Like... What are you doing this year? I want people to tell us in the chat. Like we have mm. a few people on here, but if you can drop a little comment or something, yes. tell us so what, what are you doing. doing special for this year for Christmas to celebrate with the fam. I know it's another it's another COVID Christmas, but mm-hmm. I'm sure we're all doing um, trying to make the best of it. I know for me, I moved. Yes, congratulations. Thank you, Mike. Dear. It's been a week and a day. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and it's settling feels, in good though. Yeah, we're settling in really good. And I I pushed, I really pushed because I really wanted to make it a normal Christmas for the kids. Yes. You yes. know, like we're very big with Christmas for my family. We love the decorations. Mm-hmm. We, you know, like to um, do just those special once a year things. Exactly. Um, so 
even in the move, it was just a week ago, like I really worked myself to the bone. Mm-hmm. Um, to along, yeah, along with help from from everybody else, you included the yes. your family, you know, some really close friends of ours um, to really get the house in some relative order. And um to make it look and feel like it's Christmas. Yes. So, and for the home to fill with love, right? Because that's yeah. what it's all about. And I can attest to that. When you come around, you feel the love and the positivity in your home. So that is uh, good. And I'm so happy for you, sis. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Paul. Paul saying congrats there. Thank you so much. Yeah. So what are you up to? I know we, we're not going to be together, but what's going on? Yes. What's your, what are you doing for the Christmas, Paul? I know, I know. So Shan, what's on your, what's on the burner for you for the Christmas? In Christmas two days. is low key. Yeah, low key this year. Again, as you say, it's COVID Christmas. So it's just us, right? Mm-hmm. Um, different looking Christmas, but you know what? In everything, give thanks, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I baked this year on my own. Not on my own, with the help of my aunt, right? <laughs> is that first? <laughs> yes, it's our first, you know, did the black cake with my aunt and it came out well. Um, yes, yes, that tasted good. Yes, I had the black some. cake was good. So, you know, um, it's just this year, Christmas, it's going to be a quiet one, but it's okay. And everything, give thanks. Yeah, yeah. You did a really good job with the black cake yes. for your first try. Better than me. Well, last year, <laughs> you remember my black cake fiasco last year. I know. <laughs> I know, Paul said he's just low-key Christmas this year. I hear you, Paul. Yeah, I think for a lot of people, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so, you know, um, uh, to start out, we had um, we had the, the, the little video about the sorrel cake. Yes. I did that for a first time. Um, Shan did it, the black cake the black for cake. a first time. Mm-hmm. This year is a year of new things of mm-hmm. different things right different things yes we went through the year um i mean together we did as shannon town we did um you know we started some new initiatives uh, mm-hmm. ourselves and we're looking forward to the new year where we're starting something else that's new and we'll talk yes. about that a little bit towards the end but here it is shan mm-hmm. i want to find out from the people on the line. Um, a couple things. Uh, we have a couple people watching, and they might be Caribbean people, they might be Jamaican people. Yes. But here's a question for you and for whoever is watching who wants to chime in. Mm-hmm. When we're talking about Christmas morning, um, mm. breakfast Christmas morning, yes. would you rather have? Akia sawfish or some cornmeal porridge? Aki and sawfish <laughs> with some breadfruit. Never had the breadfruit. So Aki and sawfish with the breadfruit. <laughs> Aki and sawfish all around. I think yes. so too. But um, may not have the cornmeal porridge on this side. <laughs> oh, on the side. Yes, yes, yes. And I look a coffee. Yeah, well, like a cup of cornmeal porridge, that would do me. That would just round off the morning. And don't mm-hmm. forget the breadfruit. And I see my mom is watching. Don't forget the roast breadfruit. Mm-hmm. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. You hear, mommy? We don't forget you. the roast breadfruit. <laughs> <laughs> Straight from yard. Straight from yard. One suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Would you? Let's think about Christmas dinner, my friend. Yes. Would you rather have mm-hmm. curry goat or mm. ox tail? Curry goat. That's not even that second thought. I love <laughs> curry goat. <laughs> You're a girl of my own heart, you know. That's my favorite meal. I love a curry goat. I no one knows it's so connected. I know. Curry goat in the, in the heart of it. <laughs> Anybody who's watching, tell me, people, tell me what Paul it was is. like a bonfire pan porridge. I can't stop it. No, you can't bonfire pan porridge, Paul. Porridge Paul, all the way. Porridge make you strong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Just... no, Paul. You need the porridge for the night. The night. I run. know. Right? <laughs> Remember, we know what's going on in our... <laughs> Exactly. So you need the porridge for the night run, Paul. I'll say Akia starfish. Okay, we give you that. We give you that. 
Um, well, thinking about an addition to the dinner, mm-hmm. would you rather have some white rice with that curry goat or some rice and peas? Never say white rice. <laughs> <laughs> that the normal. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Glenda said curry goat, Mr. Say, Mr. Say, yes. It run in the family. It mm-hmm. run in our family. Yes, curry goat. <laughs> but Glenda, would you rather have white rice or rice and peas? Think but about it, you know. Christmas dinner. Over Christmas, probably the rice and peas. Even oh. some gungo rice and peas would are so nice with a curry goat. Stop talk. I and a piece like of pear on the side. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Listen to me. That will just top off the Christmas. Don't worry talk about the sorrel yet because I was coming to that. Yeah, right? yeah coming to the sorrel. Yeah. All right. White rice. I'm my oxtail dinner with rice and peas. <laughs> All right, Paul. We will give you that. We will give you that one. No, it's Christmas dinner. We can't, you can't have white rice for Christmas dinner. I know. You need, for, you need the rice and peas. You Some need shelly the rice, rice and peas. And peas. Yeah, and the gungu is a Christmas thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even know if I generally eat gungu um, rice and peas other, other than, other than Christmas, Christmas time, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so here now, we come into the juice now. Ginger beer or mm. sorrel? Sorrel. Sorrel. Yeah, I have Christmas and I have sorrel. Yeah, no, I have to have the sorrel. Wait, now you did not try um talk about the ginger beer, making the ginger beer last year. What I know, next year, next year. We'll try the ginger beer next year. Next year, T. <laughs> next year. So, we'll try the black cakes and next year we'll do the ginger beer. I know. Guess what I'm trying again? Guess what I'm trying new this year too? What's that? The June plum. June plum mm, juice. Yes, the June plum juice. Yeah, my mom always make that. And Glenda says rice and gungo peas. See? Nice. She says, and um, she I'm also sorry. says um, sorrel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sound good. Sound good. Yes. Nice. Okay, so I have one more to ask of you guys. And this is not necessarily, let's say it's just a... Um, late or early afternoon snack before uh, after breakfast but before Christmas dinner right yes plantain chips or banana chips banana chips man stop it no (laughs) I love banana chips no (laughs) plantain chips all the way And recently, I actually discovered that they have a sweet plantain chips mm. and a green plantain chips. Yes, know. man. The one with salt. Well, look at salt. It tastes so good. It's my my little one. Is Paige. Draw my attention to it. We went Why? into the store. Paige loves shop. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Should I <both> it? <laughs> it's a child after my own heart. <laughs> I have to say that this year I did really well though. Like, okay. There was not much shopping going on at all. I think because, because I you're was, too busy and move. Yeah, me too busy focused on moving and packing up. So I had no time to. So Amazon wasn't quite um, ringing off my doorbell. I like, know this year, but like, next year. Uh, well, we'll see about this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if it breaks some habits. I know. <laughs> For the 2022. The 2022. Yes. So what else is going on, my friend? We're not going to be here long um, with you guys tonight. Yes. If you missed the live, it will be posted on our page mm-hmm. um, afterwards for you to enjoy. But we really just wanted to come check in and to see what everybody was um, up to. Yes. Probably you know, our favorite childhood memory growing up about Christmas. You know, I know everybody have favorite childhood memory. Like what is one of your favorite childhood memory um, from Christmas time? And anybody in the, that's joining us, what is one favorite childhood memory about Christmas that you can share? Oh, Michelle just jumped and she joined us. She's like, she didn't do much shopping shopping. at all this year. That's good, Michelle. Mm -hmm. We're walking into 2020 together. (laughs) Uh, with, With a new attitude towards that shopping. 
Mm-hmm. Um, favorite childhood memory. I think we talked about this a little bit last year when I, um, for me, it was always just around the whole grand market going into Montego oh, Bay um, Christmas Eve night. Oh. And then um, and doing the last minute shopping and, you know, yes. um, seeing all the vendors out. I really miss home for that. Yeah. Because here, even though it's um, it's it's somewhat the same of the commercial aspect of it, um, it's different. Mm-hmm. It, it just have a different feel. I mean, here you're going into malls and you're going into stores and exactly home, you feel the community. The, yeah, because yeah. you're out on the street with everybody. Yes, yes, yes. You know. Yeah, Michelle says she have her kids giving back to charity this year. Yes, mm-hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. That's really good, Michelle. She liked the barbell the barbie bells, bells and, and the balloons. And yes, the balloons. yes, yes. Yeah, and we actually did a, a, a initiative too, um, helping out um, mm-hmm. doing some charitable work this year, which was really fulfilling for us. Yeah. So. Yes, it's for awesome. through our church, which was really good, and we sponsored three shelters and quite a Mm -hmm. few women and children so hopefully that's something we can do every year yeah definitely and we encourage others to do the same because it's not everybody who has even sometimes the bare minimum right Mm -hmm. like the necessities Mm -hmm. so we encourage people to give back in whatever way you can however exactly to make you know it um a special time for um for somebody else Mm -hmm. Michelle says she loves picking gungo. Yes. <laughs> the gungo rice. A real piece. country girl. I know. Yeah, me and you, Michelle. Me and you. <laughs> I remember the picking of the gungo. A country. Nice. <laughs> I'm a grandmother. <laughs> what about you, Shan? What? Man, I love the cleaning. Like the cleaning and the, the excitement on Christmas Eve. You know, mm-hmm. you put on the new sheets on the bed and, you know, you clean the house and you take out the glass and wash everything <laughs> and you change the curtain and the house just look new. I, mm-hmm. I just enjoyed that. And the expectation leading up to Christmas and Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and all of the food and the excitement. We might not have had a lot of gifts, but the family, the love and the connection, that's what I remember most about Christmas. Yes. Yeah. And it's interesting mm-hmm. you say it, it wasn't really about a lot of gifts because that's true. Like I'm thinking no, about we didn't that have a lot now. Of gifts, but it's just the yeah. love, the food, the family, the laughter. You can spend time with family, the love. That's what most, that's what I love most about Christmas, right? Yeah. So, the togetherness. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Michelle says she loved the church treats, the ice cream and cake. Cake. Oh, (laughs) yes. And Glenda says she has her son for Christmas. Yes. Might not be physically around all the time, but it's a blessing having him home. I'm so glad that he was able to come to see you. And yes, Michelle was saying, yes, Yes. move around the furniture. furniture. Yes, Michelle. (laughs) You clean everything. Clean out the buffet. Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> I shine every glass. Shine every glass and put them back. Yes. It's not like saying they use them. Like, come you on. Put them, clean them and wash them, shine them and put them back. I'll put them back. Oh, my mm-hmm. goodness. Yeah, so I'm hoping that, you know, everybody will, regardless of where you are, regardless of what you're going to be doing, that it will be a blessed Christmas mm-hmm. for everyone. Um, I, you know, want to encourage everybody just to be grateful for, yes. for life. That is, mm-hmm. that is a blessing in itself. And just to be thankful that we've actually survived to see another year, yes. another Christmas, um, you know, despite all the challenges that we've faced um, throughout the last, what's coming on to two years now. Mm-hmm. I know. And we have so much going on next year, Tam, our podcast that we're yes. encouraging everyone, you know, we, I know this week, I believe we, um, we released just a short snippet of what yeah. to expect. Yeah. So hopefully in the new year, we'll be releasing more. We're encouraging everyone to go on our page, to listen in, to drop us a comment and to share, right? Um, it's just real life, you know, 
yeah. everyday conversations that Tam and I have. So we're encouraging everyone just to go on our page and to share with your friends. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we dropped a um, preview of one of the episodes and we hope that you, you um, it will pique your interest to join in. Mm-hmm. And said, it's just about having some real conversation. Real talk, yes. Real talk <laughs> that she uh, and I have every day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Things things come up and we're like, you know what? We really should talk about this a little bit more. Just share it with other people. So exactly. And inside, look into some of the conversations that we're having and some of the thoughts yes. um, that we because have. The talks are really real talk. <laughs> <laughs> yes michelle is one of our biggest biggest supporters yes so she, yes she yes. has an inside scoop I know. <laughs> and and the um and a couple of the episodes so uh she's saying that it's really real talk, talk. we appreciate it michelle thank you michelle and we just encourage everyone. We have a Facebook page. It's at Real Talk with Shan and Tam. Mm-hmm. And anytime we post the podcast, it will be posted directly there. It will also be posted on our YouTube page. Um, we will still continue to have um, interviews here and there um, visually with the um, YouTube channel. But we're going to be focusing a little bit more on the podcast to get some discussion mm-hmm. going. And, um, yeah, we'll be sharing it from our regular Facebook page. So um, follow the at Real Talk with Shannon Tam yes. on Facebook so you don't miss an episode and, um, and when it's posted. And like Shan said, share it. So mm-hmm. um, Glenda said that she blessed, I blessed my indigent people of my childhood community with grocery yes. items. So happy. Yeah, that was great, mom. Yes, yes, that was awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm really mm-hmm. proud of you for um, thinking about doing that and for actually accomplishing it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So good job, mommy. Um, and Michelle says, I can totally relate and was moved by some of the conversations with in real talk. Real so, talk, Michelle. <laughs> real talk. <laughs> so thank you thank you so much everyone um, for whoever joined us tonight and um, like I said if you missed it we will have our live here posted on our Facebook yes. page we want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas Christmas a call <laughs> Yes. Happy, happy holidays. We wish you all the best for the season. Um, going into 2022, we pray for life, for Amen. love, for happiness, for all of our supporters and beyond for you and your family. So thank yes. you so much for joining. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye. Take care.